Okay, I want to show a quick automation that I've done here. And let's just take a peek at it. What I've done is I've set up a cheap motion detector that cost about $10. And I've got it triggering a cheap uh, remote outlet that cost about $5. And let's take a look at the automation here. Okay, here it is. What I've done is I have it doing the DAN outlet motion sensor. Uh, this is the motion sensor here, binary sensor, pantry motion. This is eventually going to end up in my pantry. Uh, I've cut this out, the conditions right here, because I want it to come on all the time. And it, what it'll do is it'll turn the switch on whenever the motion sensor is triggered. And uh, then it will turn it off after 10 seconds. So, um, and eventually this thing is going to end up in a, hooked to a light and not an outlet, but this just gives you an idea of what it does. So notice the state of the DAN outlet right here that it's off. I'm going to go to the sensor page. This is the affected sensor, the pantry motion one here. I'm going to wave my hand over it, which sets it off. And then we'll go back here. You notice the DIN outlet is on. And hopefully, in about 10 seconds, it'll shut off here. Although I think it might actually be 20 seconds because I've got a 10 second timer on the sensor. And then the count probably goes 10 seconds from that. So there it goes right there. So just imagine I could set this up to where. Uh, when the motion sensor goes off, when I pull open the pantry door, that the light stays on for a minute or two minutes. And that's pretty practical.